Hello, and thank you for watching this ag forecast for the Canadian Prairie. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with Nutrien Ag Solutions. Well, as we look ahead at the coming week here, heading into the second week of October, we're going to be looking at temperatures generally warmer across the prairie, but at times we'll see high day-to-day -day temperature variance. So some big temperature swings day-to-day -day as some of, these, some of these little systems swing through the area. Most areas, especially along and south of Highway 16, are going to be drier overall this week, uh, but we'll see persistent opportunities for light precipitation along and north of Highway 16. Potential for a big storm system next weekend that could kind of shake up the pattern here and bring more precipitation chances to a larger part of the prairie. So we'll go ahead and jump in. We'll look at the satellite picture here first thing on Monday morning. And we've got a couple of systems, a couple of little systems making their way through the prairie right now, just kind of riding this jet stream pattern that's been persistent over the last several weeks, a ridge across the western U.S. and western Canada, and then the trough digging into the Great Lakes and the central United States. So as the sun comes up here this morning, some sunny skies across central and southern Alberta, across much of Saskatchewan, but some clouds as you head into southern portions of Manitoba. As we look at the jet stream this morning, we got a very strong core of jet stream winds making their way ashore across western British Columbia. That's that trailing area of cloud cover we saw moving across British Columbia. I'll go ahead and jump back here even. This is that wave right now. It's going to bring some precipitation again along and north of Highway 16 for the most part as we head into the next couple of days. This is the one way back to the west though, just emerging across the North Pacific that's going to make its way across the Pacific over the next four to five days and then emerge across western uh, Canada and the Pacific Northwest of the U.S. as we get into the weekend. Temperatures across the region warming in advance of that little wave that's making the way, its way across the southern portion of Manitoba uh, this morning. Some light showers in that area as well. Some uh, raindrops perhaps in the Winnipeg vicinity, even back towards Brandon, although probably tapering off in Brandon this morning. And then as you head back toward the northwest, Grand Prairie seeing some precipitation this morning. This is that next wave that's making its way up and over the top of the ridge. It'll bring some more precipitation to this corridor as we head through the next 24 hours. So we can see that then we'll look at the high resolution NAM model we'll go through a little bit slower here as we head through the afternoon today should be a pretty pleasant day across much of the prairie this region right here seeing plenty of sunshine uh, some warmer temperatures as we head through the rest of the afternoon but then here comes the uh, the beginnings of this little wave as we head through the evening hours maybe some showers in edmonton heading over toward uh, uh, Saskatchewan and Regina as we head into the early overnight. We'll see these rain showers making their way into the Winnipeg area by sunrise on Tuesday morning. And then we kind of just continue this pattern. We're along and south of Highway 16, probably seeing a lot of sunshine to get the week started here, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But then along and north of Highway 16, probably a lot of cloud cover and some of these uh, off and on light shower opportunities. As we head into Thursday, uh, we've got the potential for another system here, primarily along and north of Highway 16, to bring kind of a cold rain, perhaps mixed with some snow at times. Uh, but again, this should be generally north of Highway 16. So total precipitation between now and noon on Thursday. Uh, again, Edmonton, perhaps picking up that 10 to 15 millimeter uh, uh, range here and then trailing off down Highway 16 across central Saskatchewan into southern uh, portions of Manitoba, still keeping it rather light, 5 to 10 millimeters of precipitation, but nearly a daily chance for that light precipitation. So uh, annoying nuisance light precipitation along and north of Highway 16, but then south of that, going to be looking at generally dry conditions over the next five days or so. Now we'll take a little bit of a wider look, a little bit of a longer look at the European model. So uh, we'll quickly go through the next couple of days. Here's the rain showers exiting southern Manitoba this morning, and then the light rain showers moving across northern uh, Alberta uh, today into uh, central portions of Saskatchewan overnight, and then into southern Manitoba by tomorrow morning. And then we just kind of continue this. This will be Tuesday evening now, getting into Tuesday or uh, Wednesday morning. A Wednesday looking pretty dry across the prairie, uh, even along uh, Highway 16. Uh, but then another larger wave emerges here Thursday. This one could bring a heavier chance of precipitation north of Highway 16. And then you can kind of see the uh, the building storm here, this big low across the Gulf of Alaska, finally uh, going to be pushed ashore by a strong jet streak, a strong wave here, a big jet extension across the Pacific. This is now as we get way to the other side of next weekend, though. So I have slowly, without narrated along here, taken you from the Thursday system along and north of Highway 16 through a dry Friday, a dry Saturday, probably going to be a warm Saturday and Sunday. And we get this big area of low pressure developing. Uh, and then remember, we've got the flow around that coming out of the south 
in advance. So uh, cool air will likely follow, but before that, as we head into the weekend, probably going to be looking at a period of warming across the prairie before uh, this thing fully makes its way ashore, bringing rain chances to areas uh, along and south of Highway 16, really across all of Canada. But this is the one that kind of resets the pattern and reintroduces the, uh, the chance for more organized precipitation across the Ag Bell here. Uh, so what's happening? We're going to be watching this trough that's dominated south of the Aleutian Islands go through a bit of a restructuring. And then that big wave uh, that I showed you making its way across the, uh, the North Pacific way to the west... Uh, that one finally uh, helps us kind of reorganize, reestablish this deep trough in the Gulf of Alaska. And then the very strong jet current here is going to help bring this one ashore as we get into the, the other side of the weekend into early next week. And then if we go ahead and just take this a little bit deeper, uh, let's see how far I took it out into the middle part of next week, right around October 12th, 13th, 14th. Uh, this pattern here with this trough and then the ridge, uh, this is going to lead to very strong jet stream flow. Uh, between those two blasting in across British Columbia and then racing across uh, kind of the border between the U.S. and Canada. So this could uh, spell an unsettled week two forecast with much more in the way of organized precipitation uh, and probably trending towards some cooler temperatures uh, as we head into week two as well. Uh, until then, though, we're going to be keeping uh, generally warmer than average conditions across the prairie as we head through the rest of the week. But again, these little systems will make their way through it. Probably annoying shots of cool air continuing for at least the next four to five days across portions of uh, uh, Manitoba. That's where we'll get those kind of annoying shots of cooler air. And again, day-to-day -day variance with those temperatures could be rather high as well. Here's the uh, precipitation pattern, though. Again, we're looking at the ensemble forecast, just a loop of 24-hour precipitation values. And the pattern I want you to see here is as we head through the next five days, the rest of this week, much of the heavier precipitation falling across coastal areas of British Columbia all the way up into uh, the Gulf of Alaska, with then much of the moisture running up and over the top of the ridge through the northern portions of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and uh, Manitoba. But then as we get to the end of the loop, I'll show it here. We're at October 10th, 11th, 12th. There it is. You see the, uh, the moisture reset here. We see the heavier precipitation making its way across the prairie. Here it comes. This is the big trough swinging in as we get to the other side of the next weekend into early next week there it is much higher chances for precipitation across the pacific northwest into the entire canadian prairie just to wrap it up winds they'll be blustery out of the west northwest as we head through the afternoon hours today across especially saskatchewan uh, and southern manitoba here blowing anywhere from 15 to 25 knots and then a little bit blustier blustery still as we head into the afternoon tomorrow, Tuesday, October 6th, still out of the west, northwest, especially across uh, the Brandon, Winnipeg areas over toward Regina. Uh, we'll be looking for those winds gusting out of the west, northwest, anywhere from 20 to 30 knots. We'll see those winds tapering down as we head into Wednesday. Here's a look at your temperatures then in Calgary. Again, look at the day-to-day -day variance here uh, as we head through the rest of the week. 21 today down to 15 Wednesday, 20 Thursday, 15 Friday, 20 Saturday. So warmer than average, but a little bit chaotic there. Edmonton, very similar. Same thing in Saskatoon, 18 on Tuesday, 14 on Wednesday, 18 on Thursday, 14 on Friday, 18. And this is really comical, to be honest with you. So again, warmer than average, but chaotic day-to-day -day temperature swing. Things. Same thing here in Winnipeg. So again, we'll be seeing those cooler temperatures at times. Not looking at a major widespread frost risk, though, as we head through the next week. Again, chaotic temperatures, but generally keeping things warmer than average. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you again on Wednesday morning.